Hello, my name is Casey and this is Valentina and Luke and we are here on behalf of Biodontics to talk to you today about cavities. So cavities, also known as dental caries, are so common in our society that practically everyone will get them at some point in their lives. Cavity filling procedures don't seek to treat the underlying cause of cavities and although current solutions on the market can help reduce the problem, they have distinct functional limitations that cannot be overcome. That is where Tooth Saver comes in. Tooth Saver is a microbially derived biosurfactant that specifically targets the foundation of cavity formation, the biofilm produced by the bacterial strain Streptococcus mutans. Dental caries, one of the most common oral diseases in the world, is a bacterial infection causing demineralization and destruction of the teeth. Um, the primary bacterium causing, as, uh, causing ba uh, cavities is as mutants. So here are, uh, is our healthy tooth. Some as mutants start to grow on it and ferments the carbohydrates that we eat. The environment acidifies during the fermentation. The acids um, would, uh, would demineralize the tooth leading to cavities. So when sufficient amount of uh, as mutants individual come in contact with each other, they start to secrete a biofilm, which is a compound that uh, prevents the detachment of the colonies from the tooth surface. Um, this, this biofilm is a very accommodating uh, habitat for other strands of acid-producing bacteria. This is crucial considering there is virtually no cases of um, caries in the absence of biofilm. So sodium diesel sulfate is a synthetic surfactant added to conventional toothpaste. Um, it's, it's made from a, it's made from a non-renewable resource petroleum, and while S9BS, the biosurfactant used in Tooth Safer, it can be produced from agro-industrial waste. And in order to inhibit the same amount of uh, biofilm, the SDS requires three, uh, triple, the amount, uh, triple the concentration of S9BS dust. So toothpaste is an essential part of personal hygiene, and biodegradable, non-toxic biosurfactants represent the future of personal care products. However, the current use of synthetic substrates in biosurfactant production creates a, bottle, a financial bottleneck that we plan to overcome by utilizing agro-industrial wastes as our substrate for biosurfactant bio production. So um, to, our Tooth Saver product is produced in a uh, microbe called Lysinocillus fusiformis S9, and it can grow on agricultural wastes such as cassava pulp, coffee grounds, and um, waste products from the winemaking industry. So um, those would otherwise end up in a landfill. So in, on top of the economical and environmental benefits, um, adults, children, and pets alike all enjoy the benefits of good oral health. So as you can see here, over 90% of adults in uh, the US will develop cavities at some point in their lives. So, and this demographic of people aged 20 and over also represents the primary market uh, for toothpaste. Um, so by incorporating Tooth Saver into conventional toothpaste formulations, we'll be reaching a market that uh, is stable and has the ability to make f money in the future and now. <sighs> Biosurfactant market is expected to grow from 1.7 billion in 2011 to 2.2 billion in 2018. And North America and Europe are expected to be the primary um, highest revenue uh, earnings. So the European market has a longstanding history of rejecting synthetic compounds in um, replacement for uh, more natural um, surfactants. So our biosurfactant is most likely going to be accepted readily as a replacement for SDS in the toothpaste market. Thanks, Casey. Mm -hmm. So, biosurfactants are biologically derived compounds which reduce surface tension. Their typical structure consists of a long fatty acid chain with a hydrophilic and hydrophobic moiety on either end. Now, SDS and Tooth Saver are both classified as anionic surfactants, so they're predicted to behave in similar ways in toothpaste formulations. Now, the way that they inhibit a biofilm is by altering the physical chemical properties of the surface, such as the charge. Such a small change can cause the biofilm to de-adhere. Now, following cultivation in a um, continuous chemostatic bioreactor, I know it's a mouthful, 
Tooth Saver will then be purified and freeze-dried into a shelf-stable pellet form. We'll be producing it in our own factories and distributing it worldwide. Toothpaste manufacturers will not be having to replace any of their equipment on account of Tooth Saver's similarity to SDS, saving them time and money. Now, there are currently no patents available on the market which compete with our product, which means that our strain will be IP protected. Our goals are not ambitious. We intend for Tooth Saver to completely replace SDS in the conventional toothpaste market. Now, uh, you'll have to forgive me, this is a typo, it's actually EPA, not USDA. Anyways, following the requisite paperwork with the FDA and the EPA, we'll be able to enter the market with our product and do exactly what we plan to do. Okay. Oh, that's bad. All right. In terms of novelty, microbial biosurfactants are nothing new, having been successfully used in bioremediation and personal care products. However, what makes our product unique and non-obvious is that it's streptococcus mutants targeting, non-bactericidal, and it's intended specifically for oral health. Now, oral health care has come a very long way. Early civilizations have used crushed bones and brick powder to brush their teeth. And we at Biodontics believe that in the, hum the spirit of human health and progress, that it's time for toothpaste to evolve. Now, seeing as humans are going to continue having teeth in the foreseeable future, now is the time for us to make that leap and make the transition to Tooth Saver. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I may have missed this part, but I was just curious, how is your, your surfactant superior to um, other products on the market right now? So at a third of the, okay, so imagine, okay, let me think about it this way. So you need only a third of the amount of our surfactant to have the same biofilm inhibitory effects as SDS. As well as being able to use agro-industrial waste as your substrate, that's mm -hmm. helping prevent things adding in the landfill. Yeah. And also SNIPS interferes with the biofilm production of the s specifically. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.